What's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out this video. In this one I wanted to go over a few things over the new Imposter Sheep Squatch event, such as how to instantly kill it, something I didn't realize that may be also from this event, as well as an error that I had in my previous video that I wanted to clear up some confusion about in this one. First off, to begin this, recently I made a very thorough video going over how to take out the Imposter Sheep Squatch and all the rewards that we can possibly get from doing this event. My goal out of making that was to genuinely help the community be more successful completing this event. Hopefully it does help out because I spent quite a bit of time going over a lot of important info on this fight. But anyways, in that video, I did mention how the plan for the Assaultron head can be a reward. Now when I got this, I didn't think much of it. I just thought it was another ordinary Assaultron head plan because that's what it displays when you're rewarded it after completing this event. And I've gotten plenty of those off regular old Assaultrons. But no, this one was different. When I went to go learn it, I realized that it told me I had learned how to craft the Imposter Sheep Squatch head, as you can see here. Now when I saw this, I was like, shoot, I forgot to mention this in that thorough video that I'm talking about that I made previously to genuinely help the community. But come to find out, at the moment there's nothing there that we can craft. We cannot craft this Imposter Sheep Squatch head whatsoever. Now, it seems at the moment that this is going to be a Atomic Shop skin. However, it could be that we'll just get this as a crafting item from this event. At the moment, that is the rumor. I'm not exactly sure if it's 100% correct, but players are saying that this is going to be a skin in the Atomic Shop in the future. Thought that was pretty interesting. Imagine having a Sheep Squatch skinned Assaultron head for anyone who actually uses it. That would be crazy. That is taking it to a whole nother level of defeating the opponent. You're now using the opponent's head as a weapon. I mean, sheesh. Brutality. Anyway, something else I wanted to touch up on real quick since we are on the topic of my previous video that I created. Turns out Super Duper doesn't work with quest items, sadly. I had no idea, guys. I'm sorry. So it seems you can't make two Assaultron key cards at once. Once again, my bad for assuming that in the video. I wanted to add that just because I was thinking it would help a lot of players save quite a bit of caps when trying to craft the Assaultron key card to fight the Imposter Sheep Squatch. Because after all, that circuit board is worth quite a bit. And I was just like, well, screw it. Maybe it'll help them out. But yeah, it turns out we can't actually craft two of them. So keep that in mind. That's the reason why you're not getting two of them. Super duper doesn't work with quest items, once again. Anyways, lastly, in that very thorough video that I keep mentioning in this one, I went over quite a bit of ways on how to take out the Imposter Sheep Squatch successfully. I showed just about everything that we really need to know besides the fastest possible way, which is by nuking it. I know, easier said than done. Now, I did show it was possible to nuke it in my series over what happens if you nuke, but I didn't show how to exactly survive, nor get into much detail over doing it this way. I showed more of the benefits of nuking the area before the event appeared, and there were many benefits because there are a ton of robotic enemies that spawn here, which equals a lot of glowing mass, high radiation fluids, hardened mass, but on the other hand, you can take out the Imposter Sheep Squatch extremely fast just by nuking the event. That's just going to be a little harder to coordinate. So to take out the imposter instantly, first off, you want to check in the server if you can even start the event. A way you can tell is by having someone who doesn't have the Assaultron key card go on the terminal in the building at the pylon ambush site and use the terminal. And if it says it requires a key card to start, then you're good to go through the nuke silo to launch the nuke. Only problem is there will need to be someone ready to use the Assaultron key card to start the event. Or you could just wait in the nuke silo until someone starts the encrypted event. However, I think you may be risking wasting too much time doing it that way. I'll be completely honest, but it will guarantee you an event completion no matter what. So if you're tired of losing this event, this is one way to guarantee you're going to definitely complete it. But once again, I don't suggest waiting. But you never know. There are some people out there that are really trying to complete this. I just thought I'd add that. But yeah, once you are officially ready to launch, have your teammate start the event and then get ready to launch over there. Now, keep in mind not to nuke the direct center of the event. It's best just to have the blast radius circle barely touching the pylon ambush site. I honestly overdid it here, for example. But as you can see, 
Here are the results. This is how you can take out the imposter sheep squash instantly as long as you or someone you know can launch a nuke. Doesn't matter if the imposter sheep squash is invisible and none of the pylons are activated. Check these results out, guys. Boom, roasted, instant event completion. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get anything from the imposter sheep squatch itself, but another time I did. I guess it all depends on how much damage you are putting into it and also maybe how close you are to it when the nuke officially goes off. Because the one time that I did, I was within the blast radius. As you can see, I got taken out as well, but yeah the imposter sheep squatch did have loot on it. And like I mentioned before, you could position your nuke to land. I did make it go a little overboard and I had to run further than I should have, let's just say that much. Anyways, let's start wrapping up this video, everybody. Hope you found this enjoyable. I'm out of here. Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen. Until next time, peace.